Hi folks, Tim here from High End Sheep Tech. It's uh, pretty late at night, almost 1 a.m. I'm just sitting here waiting for my AT&T plan to actually update. So this is a little update by midnight. Well, midnight by whose time standard? Shouldn't it be midnight in my area? So I don't want to burn up the last little bit of, uh, uh, whatever gigabytes I have had left. I think I was down to like 750 meg, uh, overall. And that's due to the fact I ha if I had cable here, I would never use hardly any data. And I wouldn't care. But I don't have cable because I can't afford it just yet. So we're going to talk about a couple of things. Um, a couple of reviewers I've been watching lately. And I think one of them is getting set to go on my reviews or trust list. We'll talk about that later after the intro. Right now, let's do the intro and everything else is going to be mostly screenshot. All at 1080p is what you're going to get. And uh, no compression, no crush hitting, no possible reason that this won't be clear and sharp and bright. This is being shot on the Axon M. Still the best bang for the buck for one you can buy. Let's get to the intro and I'll talk some more. Hi folks. So as you all might know, I normally shoot at 720p. I screen cap the same way. Mostly because I have to crush the hell out of everything. But I'm just going to use Works Media Com connection. I get 350 gig a month. And even with a couple of the morons sitting there on their you know, Facebook pages and their Instagram and watching every freaking YouTube video that comes along. Although they don't finish any of them because their attention spans are that of a nap. Um, I don't think the last time I checked, we'd gone over like 111 of 350. At home here, I'd probably shoot through at least 250 or 300. Uh, but... I mentioned I've been watching two reviewers, uh, one reviewer and another interesting guy. Painfully honest tech, he really hasn't done a thorough review yet since I've been really paying attention to his channel. A lot of chat, a lot of opinions, so he's not going to end up on the left side of my channel here but this guy jay williams right here he is uh he uh he does an excellent job he's totally honest and he's he gets right to the point and he says stuff that some of the big guys won't say it like, like the latest one he's reviewing, the A70. If they were release the A70 in the U.S., Samsung would be just kicking itself. Because who would buy the S10 when they could buy the A70 at half the price? Simple as that. So, uh... We're going to be keeping a close watch on Mr. J. Will 
over here. He has 100,000 subscribers, so he's doing well. And he really does a good job. He generally keeps them relatively short. And if something's wrong, he will tell you about it. He's not necessarily a budget tech kind of reviewer. That's okay. This still, like with this A70, is a budget phone when compared to blowing 750 bucks on a regular Samsung S10. Oh, so you can say, oh, I have an S10. Generally, not worth it. If the camera is adequate and the speed's adequate, that's all you need. And uh, on that note, the only other thing I have to complain about, and I noticed this today, and I don't know if I can get it to show for you. I know where it's at. I would need something with a dark background. I Looks like my scepter has lost a pixel. I mean, I'd be okay if it lost it. Worse, it has just decided to go green. One solid green light coming up. Right in the middle of when you're watching a, a YouTube video. Uh, it's over here in the square generally. Like there, or it's like right there. This is why I should be seeing it. Now, anywhere, it may have been there for a week, two weeks, and I just noticed it. It could very well be an artifact from me switching from the HDMI 1 to the HDMI 2 plug on the back. It could be the cable. I don't know. So because I don't know these things, uh, I'm not going to worry about it too much. I just, if you don't look for it after a while, you just don't see it. And that's all I got. I'll catch you in the next one, as usual. Read the description below for links to the Axon M. Uh, probably not going to have any links to the A70. Uh, well, you can actually buy it at B&H Photo, so I'll link B&H. Just their main site. And, uh, what else? Uh, that's all I got. And, of course, you won't see any compression numbers if you read through the description big arrow coming up uh, like normally it'll just say total is this and it was not compressed before upload just to see if we get any better video and uh, what you're going to see if I ever get cable in here. On that note, reminder time. I'm not going to say a word. Catch you in the next one. Bye.